Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing battery operated equipment. So EasyGo is a company right now that's making uh, battery operated equipment. Not only do they make the, this mower we have here and the backpack blower we have there, but they also make uh, handheld uh, blowers, line trimmers, edgers, chainsaws, generators, battery operated generators. Uh, we have not actually tried those yet, but we will. Uh, right now we're focusing on the lawn mower and the backpack blower because we've been using those for at least two years now. And so we're gonna give you our thoughts, reviews, what we think of them uh, after using them for almost two years now. We can start with the, with the mower. The mower is a 21 inch self-propelled lawnmower. So this is really compatible to a 21 inch gas powered. Um, you can adjust the height down to one inch and so on, right? Right there, pretty easy, boom. And it's actually easier than the gas powered ones because the gas powered ones, most of them you gotta change the individual uh, tires. So um, I think it's a, it's a, it's a very easy uh, height adjustment. The battery actually sits right in here uh, and you just push the button, pop that puppy out, make sure you clean the port in there. And then this battery right here sits overnight on a charging station, which what we have at, at our shop. And in the morning they bring them in, plug them in and they're ready to rock. That's it. Right here it actually tells you uh, whether it's the power source and it does have a really cool not that we're mowing at night but if you push this little button right there it has two little headlights right here which we thought was kind of cool right in there and we'll turn that off um, it does have two options so it's got a collection bag so you can collect the grass which uh, we do sometimes depending on the property and whether the length of the grass but it also has a plug so you're able to mulch so you got a uh, two options of mowing and that's just the cover if you're not going to use the bag. So put that back. We like to just keep them on here just so that it doesn't uh, get lost. The other thing that's kind of cool for storage purposes, it's got this handles that are actually adjustable all the way out this way for just for, uh, for storage. And uh, you release these handles and push them in and it's really compact. So, I mean, if you take this and for someone that has a small space, you know, that takes about that much space for storage compared to a regular lawnmower that takes about, I'm gonna say it's about four feet. Normally it would have been eight feet. So taking it out, it's pretty easy. Put that on, lift the cover, put the bag on, uh, re release the handle, bring that guy back to whatever angle you prefer. And right here, you got a couple options, one, two, and three, right? And then the mower actually won't start until you extend these handles, so it's a safety feature. You extend them all the way out, right there, lock them in, and they're ready to go. This is actually a self-propelled mower. So the benefit of having the self-propelled lawnmower is it obviously, just what it says, it's self-propelled, so it actually dries itself. Uh, they actually have a, a less expensive mower that is not self-propelled, and you can push it. So if you want to push it, great, you get your exercise. But for us, uh, efficiency is key, so we want to be as fast as possible, so we get all our equipment is self-propelled, nothing is pushed. The less uh, wear and tear we can put up our, on our guys, the better, and the faster and more productive uh, for us is, is, is best. Let me show you how this thing runs as far as the self-propelled and how to work it. And another video, we'll talk about mowing techniques and practices that uh, relate to actually mowing turf areas, uh, like uh, you know just striping up the grass, mowing patterns, alternating. But all that, there's a lot that goes into that, so we'll talk about that at a later date.
Right now, we can talk about how the mower actually works. Uh, so just uh, full disclosure, uh, normally you'd be wearing safety glasses, not cool glasses like these. Um, uh, ear protection, uh, some type of uh, helmet or hat, depending, long sleeve shirts and pants, and work boots. Obviously, uh, I'm a little off right now, but uh, safety first on all the equipment. Uh, so read the manuals for that. So this thing, obviously, that's the blade engagement, right? And it's not gonna go, so that's a good safety feature. Your kid or someone can just come and turn this puppy on. The battery's gotta be in, so once that's in, battery's in, right? Locked in place, that door is closed. These arms are extended. Now, we're gonna hold this handle, push the button, right? Push the button, hold the handle. And you can hear, actually, right now, the mowers are, the mower blades are turning. So if I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift that up very carefully, and you can see the mower blades are actually turning. Um, normally, you don't wanna do that, but for, per, for uh, educational purposes, you gotta see that they are going. And you can see that the self-propelled thing is right there, look it. So it actually, you can see it self-propelled. If I let go, it stops, right? But I can also push it. So I can go push it, I can turn, and it's all done with one hand, look it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pushing, I'm not doing anything, it's literally moving itself. Um, it does have different speeds here, so we can go slow to fast, right? And as you can see, um, it's super quiet. The, 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 the benefit of this is that we have properties that we do super early in the morning. And uh, so we use those, uh, these mowers on the properties where we have to be mowing really early, seven o'clock, which technically noise is not allowed till seven, eight, depending on the, on the city we're working. But this mower right here, even someone had worked all night, uh, doesn't want to be woken up by a, by a uh, gas powered uh, engine so the lawnmower actually gives the opportunity to work and it's a lot quieter and also there's in san diego and really in california i'm not sure about other states but there's also mandates now where you have to have electric powered equipment um, there is no more gas powered stuff and then there's some that um have uh a few moments later banned blowers completely but those cities have actually given us the opportunity to use gas powered stuff so we've actually purchased our gas powered mo blower which we'll jump into next so here's our backpack blower that we're gonna be talking about this is actually uh, one of a few different varieties that they offer again you can see this is an ego 56 lithium battery which means that it works great I mean these batteries uh, literally we've ran this specific variety of uh, blower for two years now straight same battery, this battery we bought it two years ago. We charge it every day at the office and it's used, we send each crew off or each team with one backpack blower, two batteries, and uh, they get charged at the shop and used every day. So this is actually, um, here I'll show you. So it comes off just like that, right? So the backpack blower is super lightweight, right? I'm not very strong, so that thing is, is um, and then the battery plugs in right in there and that's it. Um, it's, it's literally powered and ready, ready to go. 600 CFMs, blows I think uh, 40, 145 miles per hour, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. This compa compares very closely to a mid-range backpack gas, pa gas power blower. Um, we've been using them and we're really, we're really happy. Uh, the guys that first were a little uh, skeptic about using these, but we threw one on a truck on that we started off with two one on each on two separate crews they loved them they actually request that we buy two more for that crew so we actually ended up buying one per truck and they're using them uh, on the properties that require and some of them actually prefer them now because they're lightweight and easy to use there's literally zero maintenance on these things so uh, as far as operation I mean they're super lightweight um, anyone can really use them you put you strap them on um, and they come in with pretty good support. I mean, you know, the guys, obviously these are not, this one's not set for my height, but you kind of strap it in. And that right there is actually supported by your back. And then you, you put them in here. Not only is it super lightweight, but they're very, like, very um, comfortable. And then um, it's got different speeds. So you got high, right? You got high and low. 
and then you got turbo, and then you, you just run it. So we're, we'll run it real quick, so you can see that it's super quiet, and it's actually like more of a turbine, so it, it, it you can hear it. So that's on the low setting, and then you push the turbo, and you can just see the grass to watch it move. I mean, on the low setting, right? And that's with the turbo, and you can see it, it makes, it'll move some material on the ground. I mean, we can throw some stuff out just, here, let's, let's, let's do something here. We'll grab some of this bark here. And you know, bark's not a very heavy material, but, um, you know, we'll see how that goes. So we got there. So you can see it just, I mean, it blows material right out of the rocks. Um, it blows leaves. Um, it does a great job. Um, and it lasts a lot longer than uh, expected. I mean, we first, when we first started these back, uh, electric backpack blowers, we were afraid that the guys were gonna run out of power out in the field. Um, so we actually sent them in with generators to charge the batteries and they never been used. These backpack blowers, super reliable. Um, this is actually a newer one that we just picked up this, this, this year but our old ones that are pretty beat up are still running. Um, yeah, they're a little scratched up, they're a little ripped up, but they're getting used and they're still working. So I would highly recommend this one. There are other brands out there right now that we're actually currently starting to use. And so as we get a little more time in those, I think we've only had those for about two, three months. Maybe once we got six months on those, we'll talk about those. Electric is big, it's coming in big. Don't be afraid to use it. I think uh, they're a good thing, not only for, for cost e efficiency, low maintenance and uh, great for the environment. All right guys, so power tools, electric power tools are essential and sometimes they're gonna be mandated by your cities or states where, you, where you're currently working and they're amazing for the environment. They're gonna, they're gonna help uh, uh, reduce emissions and all that good stuff. Uh, for more information on where to purchase this equipment, see the link below. One more thing we wanna to add to these is check your local municipalities or, or, or cities and for rebates. These electrical pieces of equipment sometimes come with rebates. I don't think they cover commercial use uh, or businesses, but for residential, for sure, I, I'm almost, I, some of them will. Um, you're gonna to have to check your local areas, but it's just a tip. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep it green. But most of all, subscribe. Look like I have like, I need to button this shirt up or what? Yeah. Ah. What do you call that? What is that? Um, what is the word, dude? And no, we, we got to keep it the same though, dude.